Let's talk about arguments. It's usually the case that a conclusion, a claim, an assertion can't stand on its own. It needs something to hold it up, supporting it. And that's what we call an argument. An argument is a reason or a set of reasons that are meant to uphold a conclusion. An argument is your explanation of how you arrived at your conclusion. So an argument can be thought of as a set of statements that justify a new statement. The statements of your argument are called premises. Premise. The David Pakman Show studio is located in Boston. Premise. Boston is in Massachusetts. Conclusion. The David Pakman Show studio is in Massachusetts. This is an argument. This is also an example of a deductive argument. A deductive argument is an argument wherein the premises guarantee the conclusion. If our studio is located in Boston, and Boston is located in Massachusetts, our studio must be located in Massachusetts. It's a deductive argument because the premises expressed in the argument alone give you enough to determine, to deduce the conclusion. The conclusion that our studio is in Boston must follow the premises that are given. No new premises that could be added to this argument could change its validity. And given these two premises, this will always be the conclusion. But what if I said this premise? Our channel has been releasing new YouTube videos every week for the last X years, however many it's been. Conclusion our channel will have new episodes this week. Does my premise support my conclusion? Yeah, the premise gives me good reason to think that my conclusion is true, that the David Pakman show will release new YouTube videos this week. But this is no longer a deductive argument. We would call this an ampliative argument, also known as an inductive argument. This is because my premise makes my conclusion probable. But the premise does not guarantee the conclusion. There are new potential premises that could invalidate the argument. For example, YouTube has been hacked by the Russians and the site has been taken offline for a month. So, no, we're not going to be uploading new videos. So the premises of a deductive argument guarantee the conclusion, no matter what other premises are added. And a strong inductive argument has premises that suggest that the conclusion is probably true, but other premises could be added that would invalidate the argument. If someone is intending their argument to be deductive, but their conclusion is not guaranteed by their premises, then you know it's a bad argument and not just ampliative. Deductive arguments are based on objectivity and inevitability. Ampliative arguments allow for more flexibility but require proper inference. Deductive arguments have the advantage of giving us everything we need to know simply within our premises, even if implicitly. It's concerned with testing and confirming a hypothesis. And this plays an important role in math and science, especially the hard sciences. But it's inductive reasoning and ampliative arguments that allow for creative thinking and consideration for what if. Think of practicing medicine and diagnosing a disease or solving economic problems or developing a marketing strategy. While inductive reasoning creates a risk for loss of objectivity, it pays off by making use of more open-ended thinking and problem solving and consideration for outside factors and possibilities, which are crucial to countless fields. Do you want to get better at debating people? You should check out one of my favorite online learning portals, Brilliant, which sponsors our critical thinking miniseries. Brilliant has fascinating hands-on lessons that allow you to think and argue more clearly about political and philosophical issues. Check out their lessons on logic, rationality, multi-level thinking, identifying false information, and identifying fallacies. It's a vibrant community of over 5 million members, it brings together the expert knowledge and experience of students, educators, and professionals from all over the world to create an immersive, interactive online learning environment. Keeping up with the news is one thing, but you're never really fully equipped to understand politics 
until you've developed a complete understanding about how the world at the most fundamental levels works. Sign up for free by going to brilliant.org slash critical thinking. I've put a link in the description under this video, and the first 200 people who visit will get 20% off an annual premium membership. Visit brilliant.org slash critical thinking.